the core, originally designed as a robotic terraforming assistant. Basically, the core probe would be sent to a planet and then it would unfold, sending out its little menial robots to uh, take the natural resources and build a city for when the humans eventually got there, all the robots will have gone through their batteries, they will have shut down, but there'd be an entire city waiting for the humans. Well, that didn't work out because the abandonment took place and the people in charge ended up having to turn everything off and leave. Later on, when the core is turned back on, the AI is not completely finished yet. There's holes in the code, there's problems along the way, but they were turned back on and their processes, their start menu, if you will, said, well, let's start terraforming. So they start going out with their little robots, seeking out new raw materials to expand the hive, expand the city that is the core compound, the central AI. The core ran into some difficulties in the fact that their batteries could only last so long. And so they had to adapt their own battery system called the entropic cell that it allows them to turn biological structures, basically the calories found in plants and wood and well, people directly into energy for the robots. So these robots now go out and try and find more resources to fill the primary cell of the hive. And that means running out and finding biological communities, cities, roving bands of, of human beings, scarred, dragiri, whatever they can find. And the core AI will put them to use, whether it's the schematics behind them to try and create their own robotic versions to better the overall core collective, or if it's just to grab them and stuff them into the batteries and use them as, uh, as fuel for the hive. The core is a terrifying force of robots that run on meat. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. Robots that run on meat. They're amazing. They're technologically advanced individually. They've got all kinds of moving parts and you know this particular robot might have three arms and this special little claw. You know, soldiers that are made partially of guns. The different kinds of specialist forces that the core can bring are things like the basic core menial, uh, just a tiny little robot who's designed with pinchy claws to rip things apart and bring, uh, bring those resources back to the hive. They're so basic that they just take a beating and keep on coming. The, their special rule of unstoppable allows them to make a limited number of rolls that allow them to ignore their last wound. So you can punch them, you can kick them, you can set them on fire, and they might just keep struggling forward. The wind-up toy that just won't stop. You've got the tall man, which is an actual, basically just a gun that has legs. It is a gun platform that runs, runs right at you and just throws out just sprays of these little flechette rounds that just shred their opponents. All the way up to some of the individual robots like the Icon CL457, the Iconoclast, uh, a giant robot that the core designed as nothing but the harbinger of destruction itself sent forth to shred the symbols of faith that humanity clings to. And a newer addition to the core, the Lightbringer, the Never Angel. The core's attempt at creating its own Archangel to better understand the faith behind human beings because it doesn't make much sense to the core that humans are sticking around despite all the losses they take and metal is stronger than flesh so why are they still around so they've designed their own version of this symbol of faith in order to try and understand what the humans are trying to do the core collectively are just a fantastic faction filled with some of the coolest scariest weird robot forces uh and the best part about the core is they are all one force. So it doesn't matter what models you bring, as long as it's a legal force, they all can hit the tabletop and they can all work in their own different ways. And it's up to you to find out which robot works best in which kind of role. No matter how you do it, the robots are here, the core is coming, and they're going to stuff all of your opponent's meaty bits into their batteries from here on out.